Hey, what's up? I'm Peter, the CEO and co-founder of Sponsor My Event and the owner of conferencefilms.eu. Recently, there are two buzzwords which are really electrifying the event industry. It's virtual events and hybrid events. Yet I have the feeling that outside of the event industry, a lot of people don't really understand what virtual events are and especially also what hybrid events are. That's why I decided to make this little explainer video just to explain what virtual and hybrid events are. Let's go! Let's first talk about virtual events. Virtual events are omnipresent for the moment because nobody is really allowed to go out to go to any physical events and that's why events are taking place in cyberspace, in the internet mainly. And that's exactly also what virtual events are. You all know what a physical event is. You have speakers in front of you, you have an audience composed of 50, 100, 150 or even more people and then the event is taking place. A virtual event is just transposing all this into the virtual world that means into the internet. A very simple virtual event, the most basic virtual event even, would be just simply a normal WebEx or Zoom meeting where you can see or hear the speakers, they are making their speeches, their presentations. You might eventually be able to command through the command function and to interact in a very basic level with them. So that's kind of the simplest and the easiest way to make a virtual event. Virtual events can also be much more complex. You could add, for example, a fully blown live stream, which more resembles to a TV broadcast rather than a normal web conference. Plus, you could add also a layer of interactivity where the audience, the attendees can interact with the speakers or even among themselves also so that you can replace partly at least a certain networking that would take place during a normal event. So the interaction which is taking place is typically Q&As, slide sharing, polls, eventually questions or also open floor discussions, ratings, all these possibilities are there. Virtual events can even become bigger by adding multiple rooms where you have concurrent sessions. We have the possibility eventually also to give to your sponsors the possibility to speak directly in front of attendees and to interact also with attendees, which is of course for sponsors something which is extremely valuable and something that me as an event organizer would definitely explore also because it's really an added value for your event. So virtual events are basically replicas of physical events in the virtual world. Virtual events should not be mistaken with virtual reality events. Virtual reality events are kind of a subgroup of virtual events, but in a virtual reality event you have a 3D representation of a room and this room is filled actually with 3D representations, so-called avatars of attendees who can mingle together, who can speak together, who can look at each other, but simply represented by avatars. So that's a big difference and is not necessarily what we call a typical virtual event. Now let's speak about hybrid events. Hybrid events are taking the best of both worlds. They combine actually physical events and virtual events into one bigger event. Just imagine that you have an event where you have, let's say, five speakers in front of the audience. The audience is composed of 50 people. And then you would add this virtual layer on top of it. That means you would give virtual attendees People from all across the globe, you would give them the possibility to attend virtually this event in addition to the attendees who are physically present. So that works with the same technologies as if you would create a normal virtual event. You would have a live stream, you would have different rooms eventually, you would have the possibility to chat, the polls, the question and answers. All these technologies would be added to the normal physical event. The interesting thing here is that this combination for hybrid events opens up whole new perspectives and whole new possibilities because you can easily add additional speakers who are from I don't know where in the world and they could participate in the event without having to fly over to your event. At the same time also your carbon footprint for the event itself would be much lower because a lot of attendees could virtually attend instead of having to fly over to attend your event which is also beneficial of course on the long term. I predict that hybrid events are here to stay. It's not necessarily something which is new. Hybrid events existed already before, but now of course they got a complete different visibility and you will see over the next months that hybrid events are going to shine even more and they're going to flex their muscles because there are so many possibilities that you can do when creating hybrid events, so many benefits and think even of the possibilities to add even more attendees, how much more attractive and compelling this will make your event to sponsor. So it's usually beneficial just to think about 
about also organizing hybrid events and to diving into this technology just today simply to get ready for it. So that's it with my little explainer video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, so then please like us as well, subscribe to our channel so that you will be kept updated of all the next videos that we're going to publish. Thank you very much and see you very soon and stay healthy.